Hey folks, welcome. My name is Daily Fix. We are going to be streaming some Stellaris. <coughs> Star Trek New Horizons, of course, uh, which might be the final stream of this uh, particular game. Uh, I've been talking here on Twitch a bit about uh, what to do. There is not a whole bunch I am actually able to do. Uh, none of these guys are willing to become my vassals. My dogs are walking around, so you will hear them. It is what it is. Can't change it for you. My economy is great. Alloys are a bit low. And <laughs> and Ginger there says, hello YouTube, hello YouTube. I'm thinking when this technology is going to be done, we're going to be looking into what I want in a fleet. And we're going to be designing our fleet. So we need to boost up our alloys, but we have so many jobs. that I, There are so many jobs. I've just recently clicked the planet, here we go, with 46 jobs. That is not something I kind of like. Uh, usually, I want to have fewer jobs, because fewer jobs means that I have more control. Now, I hardly have any. And maybe it's because of the AI building stuff, maybe it's not. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. Some of my scientists aren't doing anything. Where are you? You're over here. You were actually doing some research. Let's can send you to Draconis to assist research because that's all what you've been doing. You are still having no orders apparently, but you're locked. So he's event locked. We can't do anything about that. We are unable to colonize this planet because apparently we are unable to colonize demon planets, which is a bit of a shame. There's so many wars going on in the galaxy and yet we haven't done any of them, which is a bloody shame. So let us unpause, let's speed up the game, let's see if those three months will fly by like crazy. Let's close that off, let's get rid of these messages, and who wants this? The Dallin Union wants to be invited into the United. Yes, yes, please, please vote yes. Please, yes. I, I, I believe, to be honest, they are already yeah. part of the coalition so it is interesting they are going through this again guarantee has been revoked to your rescue start to rescue please and i don't foresee any problems with this at all there you go they were accepted into the coalition again for the second time i felt they they needed this bit of additional support like yeah man you are actually able to join the Federation. Are you sure? Let's ask it again. Okay, let's ask it again. <laughs> Something like that is probably going on. Um, the Klingons, yeah. Let the battle commence. Let's take a look. For association offer, they will not accept. There's three people that would vote no. I feel it, this is not very... This is... And they, they do not want to be in a coalition with them. That's the problem here. Uh, review the Marathi assessments. They're at 68. Let's go with a high intensity. So next time they will be annexed into the, co uh, into the Federation. This will all join in. And this will actually give us a direct border with the Hoscock Ascendancy. Which will not accept my... Can we declare war on you? You know, I'll just try it whenever. I, I know they will vote no. I, I'm not even going to review it. We'll, we'll probably see it go away. All of that. And, and we'll never see the lights of war ever again. Or ever. Not even again. We haven't done a war at all. Oh, that's so sad. It, it really makes me feel sad. You are upgrading to a starbase. Looks like you are a promenade. They made peace. That's good for them. We have refugees, and of course the war failed. What else is new? All of my star bases are starting to look quite nice. I do like that. I was asked to check the crime values in some of my planets. Um, and it's zero. Plus two from Pops. Might be there is a chorus. Yeah, the uh, Ferengi have... Um, have gotten a branch on my planet. There's the fighter wing. Is there new ships? I don't think. I think we've run to the end of the ships. And I just... I can't be for sure. 
Can't be for sure. I don't like minefields. It's very unfederation like So we'll go with these charges. Okay, let's go into ships. And particularly... Okay, these are the ones that we just got. They look absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, maybe isn't this... We also got this, I believe. The roundabout 2. Can we not remove you? No, we are unable to. That is... We got so many of you. We got some fighters I've never seen, actually. It's very likely that's part of the... Uh, of the Star Trek universe, but I've never seen them personally. So what is it that we want? Let's start in, in front of the bottom. Deep Space Scout. We will never, never actually use you. We have a Light Strike Cruiser. Which now has the Precock Chambers. Which gives it more accuracy, which is... Yeah, okay, it's, it's okay. Uh, Damage-wise, 437. It's not the best. Uh, we have this frigate... It feels very old. I don't know. The science ship. And there are actually the ones that actually just tickle my interest. This is the flagship assault cruiser. We finally have... This is going to be... This is the USS Titan. We actually made it into a fleet. Which is always nice. Uh, where are you? The USS Titan with this fleet. 90,000 in terms of attack. So we can't change it, actually. Um... The construction ship, any changes? No. We, oh my god, look at that. We're up almost 1200 damage. This is very versatile ship. We can also make it with a shuttle bay, and I quite like them with a shuttle bay. 15 strike crafts, which is very... Ooh, we got some shield damage here, we got some armor damage. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I quite like this ship. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, average damage of 35. Yeah, that, that's definitely... So, th these are now what we have. This is quite good. I love it. Uh, let's save the Luna. So, I would like to have the Luna. Because it's just so damn strong. Holy crap. Are you kidding? This one's even stronger. Like, what the hell? Torpedo Barrage, I quite like those. Yeah, sure. Why not have a torpedo boat in this as well? Is there not other weapons we can actually get on these? This is 24. Which, of course, we're going to be changing. With uh, one of these to 36. Uh, considering this is shield damage. We do want to replace those. With more shield damage. All of the orange can go to that. The red ones. So we have... Oh man, 53. Damn, that is also not bad at all. The modulate phases are 63. Uh, however, these do shield and hull. I'm kind of looking for armor. So we'll change the redness with these guys. Oh my, look at that. 21, we're over 21,000 damage, uh, 2100, sorry. I do like these torpedoes, they're very Federation-like, so we'll leave that. I won't change these, armor damage is quite good. Save the Prometheus, so the, we got the Luna and the Prometheus. We have the Galaxy class over here. If it's below a thousand, I don't think I want to use it anymore. This is... Quite stable as another strike craft vessel. Let's make sure that we get the right weapons on all of the orange slots. And the graviton phase is on the red. So we have a bit of everything going on. I don't like these. They're very heavy on shield damage. They're very unfederation like. I'm not going to change that. Uh, we'll do it like this. Can I... The Vesta save. Okay, let's do it with a um, with a bracket. We got two now. This is the other one. It's being built. Okay, that makes a lot of sense that we can't do that. Now, what we need 
is we are going to be looking for a, another ship that actually is able to do point defense, considering we don't have that right now. And I don't think any of these can do that. No. And this one can't either. There was a suggestion to bring back one of these ships. Actually, did you have it? I think so. Uh, I can't see it because it's there. It's there. It's, this is two. And we have the superior cruiser, which has a quite good amount of them. It's, it's not the strongest, but it has a lot of these point defense turrets, which is quite good to have. Just to get a few of those Norways in, in your fleet. You can't go wrong. Um, this device only acts up. Okay, what does it do? Immune to most enemy debuffs and snares, so it, they, it's very difficult to catch. I like it. Let's make sure that we get the modular phases. Can we get the others? Oh well. Okay, we'll get those. Well, it's fine. Let's get the the ones that has the most flyers. Usually does do the most damage. This is uh, eight units. So it does eight times point fifteen, and this time it does five times point seventeen. One time for yeah, definitely these fighters are good. And we'll get these light torpedoes. What do they do? Ooh. Okay, but that is expensive. This is going to be costing me upkeep. I cannot have that. Strategic resource wise, we own we are making five. I don't like doing those. Because it does cost me. It doesn't say anything about upkeep though. If it doesn't have upkeep, we might as well use them. They're not the strongest. Like the average damage and also the cooldown period is quite long. But the additional 50% on shield and armor is quite nice. Okay, so we have our point defense ship, the Norway. So we have the Norway, the Vesta, the Prometheus and the Luna. And we'll go into... Let's see who else could be in it. Oh, wow, the Jaeger class retrofit. Oh, that looks so damn sick. It's it's not strong, but it lo it does look sick. Turn the class carrier. Okay, ooh, two slots. Ooh, that is very cool. I don't like these. Go away. Do these. That will probably boost your damage quite a bit. Yeah, I like it. Way to go. A light cruiser, auto cruiser, frigate. A uh, fighter wings. The, the speed is 830, 823, which is very, very fast. Definitely the fastest we have. So if we are able, to, if we need to fit fighter wings, we're going to be looking into... Do we want a torpedo wing in here? Or do we want something to start attacking like shields and all? Now we, we might have a lot of shield damage already. Maybe not. Let's go with these. Let's take a look. What does it do? Okay, 116. I think this is better. And not this weapon, though. We'll go with the um, the multi-phased phases. And we'll take the graviton phases over there. It's, it's very low on power, which is a bit of a shame. We'll have to empty that one out. Do I want to? Uh, we could actually do some more power. It, it might just speed it up. Yeah, by three. Mm, is there anything that even makes this thing go even faster? Don't look like it, no. Okay, so it doesn't really matter in where we go. I like these. I really like these uh, these ships. Okay, let's save them. So we have the um, the Griffin, the Griffin fighter. We have the Norway, the Vesta, and we have the Prometheus and the Luna. These ships are going to be our fleets. So let's go to fleet management. 
let's take this one just to make a sort of a template on what we want to do. So we have the Vesta class, and this is the new one. We have the Luna class, the Prometheus class, and we the Norway class, and perhaps the Griffin class. Okay, mm, three, two, two, one, one. One Norway class I think is enough. Uh, the others are pure damage and this one's just pure focusing on point defense. Uh, especially if we are going to be fighting with a lot of um, a lot of other fighters. I think this is a good good solid build. Okay, so this would be in terms of this, let's see. Uh let's call this 30, 50, 56, and just to 70-ish. Uh, 56, 50... A, uh, 68, 16... Yeah, let's call it 70. Let's go with this. So, this is one of my full builds, right? And according to this, this is uh, 14, 28... We'll call this 20, so it's 48. Yeah, it will definitely be a huge, huge improvement. Uh, so that is going to be the fleets we're going to be using. Of course, we'll, we cannot destroy the Titan class. Let's upgrade you for now. Let's unpause the game. And we'll start with the first one. Which, fortunately for us, none, none of these ships we are going to be using. Uh, we do have a bit of naval capacity going on. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. So that's a bit of a shame. It is a bit of a shame. Let's just wait. Uh, we need more alloys. We'll, um, we'll sell some. How much can we actually do? 25. Let's try to be able to get as much as possible. Let's do 10,000 of you. 20,000 of you. Get more. Half of that. Get you a bit lower. This one's also full. Yeah, I think this is um, is good enough to actually get this going a bit. Okay, we're over our naval capacity currently, which is... It's not a huge problem. It's not we're making so much energy here that we don't particularly have to care about it. All of my anchoring are done. These star bases are still being constructed. We erect our maximum. Yeah, I think we just go go ahead and get started on these uh, on these fleets. So we're going to be changing these. We have a template. We know where to go. Uh, we are losing Federation experience. Please let me get to level 3. Please. Just just make me president and get me to level 3. I would really appreciate that. Long-term medical holographic program, which is good. What else do we have? Society research. We got con -vas -vas something. Um, the consulate. District production. Mm, admin capacity. I don't care about fleet. Command limit would be interesting. Let's take that. Uh, zoom out a bit. Okay, I feel, still feel that... Okay, we'll take the weakest fleet first. Which is this one. The sport drives, we now have a good indicator of getting there. And, and the sport drive is just obsolete. I am I'm very sorry, but it is. Let us go to fleet management. How do I want to proceed? I don't want another pirate fleet. But I don't want to destroy everything right now just to create this. Uh, we can also just build this up and then destroy the entire fleet. Which would cost me 18,000 alloys. We have the amount of naval officers. We do not 
We have the dilithium and we are actually able to do this. So we need a bit more alloys and we're set and a bit more dilithium. So alloys and dilithium. Let's save up. We'll uh, we'll sell some more stuff. We'll not sell Darillium D, and we'll start building the fleet, and then we'll um, we'll actually remove a entire fleet and just transfer the uh, the captain. Uh, as for my planets, there is little chance that I will ever have to look at them, so I'll close that up so I don't have to scroll as much. This star base is about to be upgraded, upgraded, and those ships are done as well. Come on, four, seven, come on, we can do this. Uh, dilithium, promenade, empty building slot. Construction. Is there anything I want in here? Uh, yeah, we don't have the, uh, the hosp, we don't have a planet ne into it uh, yet. When we get the demonic world colonization, we can actually fill this completely. So for now, we just get the trade. We are lacking 17 of these um, plates. Uranium plates, yeah. And this one is anti-piracy. Good, I like that. So we're over our naval cap. Should we just get started building that fleet, maybe? You know, we, we can, of course, wait. But uh, by the time this gets built, it, it hardly matters. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's go ahead and we'll build what is going to be the first fleet. And we'll remove the first fleet. We'll change this into the first fleet. Let's uh, reinforce this. And I am actually very curious on how strong, you know, this fleet is going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be extra, absolutely strong. I can't wait to actually get the ambassador class out because they're, they're so obsolete right now. Let's get rid of these. We know that the starbase was done building. Uh, we will always have that there are empty slots on this. Uh, three more plates, so next month we can upgrade you. Let's get a sip of my water because I can hear my voice going down. <coughs> okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and try this. Let's just go... Maybe we can insult them. They're already at war with so many. They are really at war with, with a lot of them. You will pay the price. We'll check that out. We have Lance Cartwright, who has become a Admiral. Migration tree proposal. Uh, I'm not going to be declaring yet another war because... You know, if this one triggers, <laughs> we'll be busy for a bit. Let's upgrade you. And we'll just uh, wait. Everything has been built here with the first starbase, which is going to take a while. Uh, we got the new charges. What else do we have? Ship building speed plus five. I quite like that idea right now. And war has failed. Standing by. But a clear war on you. Standing by. I don't think it will happen either. I'm not even paying attention to it. How are you doing? Can we become your protectorate? No, you you're you're pretty suspicious of us. Uh, we could improve relations, but they are harming, so that's not going to work. Jury. Offer protective status. Yes, please. Here we go. We got a new guy. Yeah, eventually we'll have everyone as a protectorate, I guess. Let's take a look. Yeah, no, no, this is not going to happen. There you go. And it failed. No. How about you? No. Okay. That's, that's a clear no. Who else? No, oh, they wouldn't mind. Oh, they wouldn't like that. Neither will they. The binaries? This is the best time to do it. We can complete our work within the time allotted. I bloody hate those guys. Absolutely, I think they are so annoying. And there we go. They have become our protectorate. 
or we have become their protectorate actually, getting us a, another member into the coalition. And I kind of feel we just want to just get you going as well. You go there. Just make some experience. Fleet conscription. What does that do again? The fleet conscription is over here. Producing officers. Okay, how many would we lose if we don't take this? Otherwise, actually, no, it's just luxuries. Doesn't matter. Just take it. Doesn't cost you anything. Let's get rid of those. Okay, the Sonic Command. Are you more able to do it right now? It's, it is the hostile attitude. Let's try to declare war then. We all know it's not going to happen, right? So, the Federation is just being a protectorate of the entire galaxy. Yeah, that's how it goes. The Romulan Star Empire has made us their rival. I like that idea. Let's end the charade. I agree. Declare rivalry? Could we declare war right now? I I am I've I have a lot to gain by changing their ways because if they join we would have this entire area which is you know it's quite a bit <laughs> it is quite a bit we have um proposal rivalry research has been complete temporal snare Anything I find interesting. Let's go with the phases. And long range. Uh, monitor stations focused on the system. Having detected a, the presence of an unknown alien vessel in orbit. Off point. The vessel is a cylinder of great length. So far taking threat. Okay. Will we get a um, situation? Anomaly. No. Well, I don't see it currently, but the second we do, we are going to be sending a fleet to uh, to stop it. I'm thinking it's going to Earth. I'm not particularly sure on that, but we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Let's wait until uh, we have the results on this. Already two no's. And uh, the Romulan Star Empire. Now we are rivals, so we might see our very first war here. This one's not going to happen. We already know that. Go away. I would say vote yes. Okay, this one failed. Let's get rid of these. Oh no. Ah, oh, here we go. The United Tully Nations already voted no. Everyone's voting no. Ah. Even as rivals, they don't bloody care. Uh, stop guaranteeing. Okay. Who was it? Stop. Stop, 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 stop. You are guaranteeing whom? You. Okay, so the distance is the main issue for them not wanting to be part of us. Okay, so I guess you are preferring death. How about you? It looks like the um, the Commonwealth is is definitely... I would say they're winning. But I could be very wrong here because you will see a lot of these... Other icons. Yeah, they have started annexing. As you can see, they're, they're starting to get a lot of their own planets in here. Good for them. But I still say they're going to lose. No protectorates over there. This can go. This can go. Okay, so they've declared the Brunei Empire's arrival. The Kazan sects have declared the Karen Imperium as their rival, and, well, uh, they do that in return. There is time enough still. Mm, anything I can do with you, then? No. If I can offer Protectorate, if we can get the galaxy under one coalition, I would definitely say it's a win. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh, Two-year mission... Good for you. To your mission. Excellent experience. I, I wonder if this will eventually change their ways. 
There is a galactic forum in here. We don't have the wormhole in Bajor yet. If that were to happen, it would probably mark the start of the um, of the war with the Dominion. Let's go to fleet management. You cannot reinforce due to... And I'm thinking alloys. It's most likely dilithium, actually. Dilithium would be the better, better guess. Get rid of you. Let's go back. See if I was right. And I was wrong. It's fine. Um, so, I'm going to be making a quick call to the vet for my dog. And um, if I don't have to go, I mean, instantly we'll continue the stream. For those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for being here. And I'll uh, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.